good morning friends so today we will discuss multiplets and isospin in particle world so first we will see what are multiplets we know that nucleons have almost equal mass and many other common values like same baryon number same strangeness and same spin we know for nucleons the baryon number is equal to 1 the strangeness is equal to 0 and the spin is equal to half hence nucleons may be considered as two states of a single particle which appear electrically charged and other on the electrically neutral similarly other hadrons with similar properties were grouped as multiplets a single family a single multiplet members of each family or each multiplet will have nearly same mass same spin, baryon number, and strangeness. See some examples. Doublets means members, means uh, the multiplets with two members, the K plus and K0, the K1 family, the first K1 family, and the second K1 family, K0 bar and K minus again the doublet, and the nucleons. And the psi family, there are two members, psi z1, psi minus. So these are the doublet families or doublet multiplets. And see some examples for the triplets, the pi on family, pi plus, pi z1, pi minus. There are three members. And also the sigma family, the sigma plus, sigma z1, sigma minus. And there are also the singlets, the multiplets with only one member, the eta zero and the lambda zero and omega minus are the examples. The average charge of each multiplet is also for doublets. The average charge you can see the average charge of this kaon family is zero plus one divided by two, that is plus one by two. And for this family, this is minus 1 by 2. And for this family, this is plus 1 plus 0 1 by 2, that is 1 by 2. And for this family, it is minus 1 by 2. For this family, the average charge is 0. And this family is also 0. And this for the singlets, this one is average charge is 0, this one is 0, and this one is minus 1. And you can notice a relation between the average charge of the family and the and their strangeness value yes so not the correlation between the average charge of the multiplet and the strangeness value yes more negative the average charge more negative the strangeness among these families the omega minus has the more negative average charge and it has the more negative strangeness value and the psi family has minus one by two and it has comparatively greater or comparatively more negative strangeness value so their relation is defined using another quantum number called hypercharge. But the hypercharge Y is defined as S plus A, which is equal to two times the average charge. Two times the average charge of the multiplet. So this is surprising. This is amazing that the arbitrarily defined quantum number strangeness has some more physical meaning 
since it is related to the average value of electric charge of the multiplet. It is really amazing. See one amazing result of this correlation. In psi family, only psi minus was discovered initially and psi zero was at unknown. But for psi family, the hypercharge y is equal to s plus a is equal to minus 2 plus 1. It is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the average charge of the psi family is y by 2, that is minus 1 by 2. So there is one more, surely there is one member, one more member in the psi family. Surprisingly, the psi zero was discovered later with the predicted properties, since we know that each family have nearly equal mass and same strangeness, same baryon number, and same spin. So we, the psi zero also will have the same properties, and the charge is also predicted. The charge is should be zero since. The average charge is minus 1 by 2 and the first member have minus 1 charge so the average to get the average charge minus 1 by 2 the charge of the predicted member was 0 the neutral one so uh, the psi 0 the neutral psi 0 was discovered with the predicted other properties similarly a prediction was occurred okay, among the sigma family also. Initially sigma minus and sigma plus were known. But the presence of the third member sigma zero in the multiplet were predicted using another quantum number called isospin. Even though the charge of the family was also correct with the two members because the average charge of the two members were zero even with the third member the average charge is zero hence we cannot predict the third member solely using this average charge or hypercharge y but another quantum number isospin helped us to predict the presence of sigma zero in the sigma family. So by arranging hadrons in the multiplets to additional quantum numbers, isospin i and its third member, third component, i3 were defined. Where this isospin i is conserved in strong interaction, but I3, the third component, is conserved both in strong and electromagnetic interaction. Really, isospin has nothing to do with the real spin, but it is related to the number of particles, the number of members in the multiplet. Isospin I is defined as I is equal to a minus 1 by 2, where n is the number of particles in the multiplet. So for singlet, n is equal to 1, hence i is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2, that is 0. And for doublet, n is equal to 2, hence i is equal to 2 minus 1 by 2, that is 1 by 2. And for triplet, n is equal to 3, hence i is equal to 3 minus 1 by 2, that is i is equal to 1 and quadruplet i is equal to 3 by 2. So for a multiplet with isospin i, the number of particles n is equal to 2i plus 1, which is very similar to the real spin j, where the number of levels splitted will be n is equal to 2j plus 1. To represent each member of the multiplet, the third component of I, I3, 
sometimes called IZ is used, which is the projection of I along the Z axis in imaginary I space, imaginary I saw spin space. Very similar to the real spin where the split third level is represented by the third component of JZ or third component of angular momentum along the Z axis. So very very analogy is used here. So more negative more positive the charged member is assigned greater I3 value. See some examples. For the nucleon doublets, I will be 1 by 2, so the I3 will be plus or minus 1 by 2. So plus 1 by 2 is assigned for more positive P for the proton and the neutron is assigned I3 is equal to minus 1 by 2. And for the psi family, here also the i is 1 by 2, so the i3 may be plus or minus 1 by 2. And the psi 0 is comparatively more positive and it is assigned plus 1 by 2 i3 value. And the psi minus is assigned minus 1 by 2 i3 value. And for the case of pions, the i is 1 and i3 may be plus or minus 1 and 0 and hence the more positive pi the pi plus is assigned plus 1 pi 0 is assigned 0 and pi minus is assigned i3 is equal to minus 1 the gelman nishijima formula the relationship between i3 and other quantum numbers are represented using this formula the very famous formula very important formula. The formula is the Q is equal to the charge of each member. Q is equal to I3 plus Y by 2. Where y is the hypercharge. And this Y by 2 is the average charge. So it is really I3 plus average charge. The real charge Q is equal to I3 plus average charge of the family. So this is equal to I3 plus s plus a by 2. So this relation helped us to predict the presence of sigma 0 before its discovery. Since I3 for the other two identified members that is sigma plus and sigma minus were calculated as plus 1 and minus 1 using this formula. Hence, it is sure that it is a triplet, it should be a triplet, and there is a third member of it, I3 is equal to 0. And as predicted, with the same properties, sigma 0 were detected. And it is clear that the I3 is considered in strong and electromagnetic interaction, like the strangeness is, since Q, the charge, and the baryon number A are conserved in all interactions. Since this gelman shijima formula, this Q is related to this I3, S, and A, or I3 is related to this Q, S, and A, where this Q and A is conserved in all type of interactions, this I3 is conserved very similar to the strangeness is. That is why the I3 is conserved in strong and electromagnetic interaction like the strangeness is. Okay, thank you.